Welcome to the Rock and Roll and Good News program. I am David Esposito, founder and managing partner of Harvest Time Partners and host for today's program. If you have not done so before, please review the background on the program, which is available on our YouTube channel and our website at harvesttimepartners.com. As we begin this episode, please know that you matter. Regardless of what you are struggling with, regardless of the depths of your sorrows, and regardless of how lonely you feel, the good news is that you matter. I know you may not feel it right now, but you do matter. I hope this message nourishes you in the most meaningful way to comfort you and strengthen you to keep climbing into the ring to face your battles. Today's episode is titled, Another View of Suffering, and today's episode starts with a song from Bruce Springsteen titled, The Rising. Please spend a few minutes listening to any version you can find on the internet. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that song. Bruce Springsteen wrote The Rising in the aftermath of the September 11th, 2001 attacks on the United States. Bruce Springsteen's words in that song helped the nation continue on a long path of healing and strengthening after enduring those attacks. Bruce weaves in the imagery of one of the darkest tragedies of our generation, along with incredible heroism and also the healing touch of faith and promise with the line, and I quote from the song, I see you, Mary, in the garden in the garden of a thousand sighs. May I feel your arms around me. May I feel your blood mix with mine, which reinforces the ancient scriptural message of the sacrifice of Christ that brings us healing and comfort. On a more personal level, we all experience some very difficult sufferings. Many of us would classify some sufferings as almost too much to endure like the untimely death of a loved one, a parent holding the hand of a terminally ill child, the heartbreaking destruction of a once close family, or the addiction that resulted in a tragic ending. Although we all hope to avoid a great deal of pain and suffering in this world, the reality is that we all will endure our share of suffering. Most of us will find a way to carry on, some in silence and some with a loud roar. There is no escaping disappointment, discouragement, and suffering. Our typical pathway to address suffering is to rally our own strength. Perhaps we're fortunate to gain some encouragement from others close to us, and we endure the journey with the hope that we will somehow continue to grow stronger through the experience. In times of great suffering, it is very common for us to look for practical answers to the question of why, and why are we journeying through such a difficult moment? We find some helpful guidance to answer that most common question in the ancient scriptures. And if we look at the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 4, uh, please take a moment and find that scripture on the internet of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3-4. through 4. The background of this situation is that the Apostle Paul is working hard to spread the good news of Jesus Christ throughout the present-day Mediterranean region. Paul has endured some incredibly difficult moments in his journey. He has been stoned and left for dead. He's been shipwrecked, left cold and hungry, snake-bitten, jailed, beaten almost to death, and his life has been constantly threatened. Paul had every right to ask, why me? I'm just trying to do some good work and spreading some good news. Why am I persecuted like this? Uh, Paul provides some, some real character-building advice on the topics of the other side of suffering when he says in that scripture, so that we can comfort those in any trouble. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4, his response to the suffering is so that we can comfort those in any trouble. This is the other side of suffering. It's an opportunity to grow 
in empathy towards the suffering of others so that we can be a genuine and relevant source of comfort to those in need. When we walk through the valley of suffering, as opposed to growing bitter or spending too much precious energy on the endless wandering of why me, the guidance we receive from the ancient scriptures is that we have an opportunity to deeply understand the suffering of others and proactively reach out to help them find comfort in their own troubled time. There is often no greater connection that can be made with someone suffering through a difficult family experience than one who has also walked through that experience. Those who have endured the financial hardship of a painful bankruptcy are often the most effective in guiding others through the experience of rebuilding their credit and confidence. Who better to support and encourage someone struggling with addiction than someone who has walked down that same road. We continually see in the ancient scriptures and in our own lives that often God's greatest blessings come out of the most painful events in our lives. The other side of suffering through a painful event is that we are strengthened and we can learn to be more empathetic and compassionate towards others in need. In this guidance from the Apostle Paul, we find the truth that there is another side of suffering, and that side, which is written about consistently in the ancient scriptures that guide the major faiths of today, is that suffering produces strength, empathy, and compassion in us so that we can be a comfort to help others in need. When we look to help others in need, the pain of our own sufferings begin to lessen and we build a greater sense of peace in our own journey. Please take a moment and reflect on the following questions. When have I suffered through some painful events in my life? And how can I use my journey through that pain to be helpful to others in need? As you continue along in your journey, please remember that we all experience some suffering that feels almost too much to endure. If you find yourself feeling overwhelmed in a dark valley of suffering, please remember that number one, God promises and is always faithful to help comfort us in our own suffering, and we should call on him in our time of need. And number two, Please reach out to a close friend to talk about your struggles, and please consider me one of your friends today. As you reflect on the message, please take a moment to search the internet and find and listen to Bruce Springsteen singing, When You Need Me. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this message. As we conclude this message, please know that you matter regardless of what you are struggling with, regardless of the depths of your sorrows, and regardless of how lonely you feel, the good news is that you matter. I hope this message nourished you in the most meaningful way to comfort you and strengthen you to keep climbing into the ring to face your battles. This concludes today's episode entitled Another View of Suffering. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates on new episodes and log on to our website at harvesttimepartners.com to explore the many products and services we have to help you be your best for those you care about most. And please feel free to reach out to me directly at david at harvesttimepartners.com or call or text my mobile at 269-370-9275. Thank you for listening.